blood pressure, number one reason for heart disease, cardiovascular. Tell me what's going on and tell me what's the right blood pressure to have when someone walks into your doctor's office. Oh my gosh. All right. So that's, this is going to be interesting. 90% of blood pressure problems are what we call idiopathic hypertension. And mm -hmm. so that means 90% of the time we as Western medicine physicians have no idea what's going on, which is relatively scary. If this is going to be uh, related to one of the number one killers and 90% of the time we don't know what's going on. I'm always fascinated as to sort of what makes blood pressure tick. In other words, if 90% of the time we don't know what it is, what exactly is causing blood pressure problems? So for me, the tightness of the musculoskeletal component in the arteries is a key. And so how do we make muscles relax? And part of that is the nervous system. Part of that is use of magnesium. Part of that is nitrates. And so all this component of trying to create more vasodilatory components. Uh, secondary from a physics point of view, the larger the radius, uh, so basically the more capillary depths we can get, and realistically the biggest uh, development of capillary depth is gonna be muscle tissue. So as we build more muscle tissue, we get more capillaries, we can bring our blood pressure down. And then ultimately, I think your, your centralized pump, your heart really dictates a lot of that. So if your heart becomes uh, stiff and old and archaic as compared to soft and pliable and strong, which I think goes to the original aspect of the VO2 max where you keep cardiovascular fitness. So musculoskeletal components of the, of the blood vessels, capillary density, and uh, uh, the strength and vitality and resiliency of your heart, I think, I think dictate a lot of the idiopathic uh, heart uh, blood pressure problems.